fuck. 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 Okay, so here we are. It is Friday, August 26th. I just got my my nitro and my bagel and I'm about to hit the road heading to Vermont for Overland. Car is absolutely packed. Got my bicycle in the back. Going to meet John and Adam at the campground and hopefully get set up. It is Supposed to rain today, so we might be setting up in the rain. And uh, a potential preview of the course should be a pretty killer weekend. Race is tomorrow. I think it's like 60 miles, uh, just under 8,000 feet of elevation with some pretty gnarly pave, uh, rocky sections. Should be a big party afterwards. And then we'll camp out again, ride Sunday, hopefully. And um, then I'm gonna go to my mom's house cause she lives right down the street and crash there for the night. So yeah, enough talking. I have just about a three hour drive ahead of me. Let's do it. Another day and another video with me talking in my car as I just slightly went over the rumble strip a little bit on my way to Vermont for the 2022 Vermont Overland gravel race. That's right, here's the graphic on the screen of what that route looks like. Meeting uh, Brian and Adam at first at a post office just outside of Mount Escutney uh, where we will be camping for the night. And uh, yeah, we're doing it. A big, good group of us, we're meeting a few others up there, uh, Marcus and Noah and Jeremy other people that we know. Maybe get a ride in today. There are some slight rain in the forecast, but um, as I drive up here and I continue to check the weather, it, tre it seems to be trending uh, more positively. So hopefully it means it's a little less spotty, even though if it happens, it should be ending well before we start riding tomorrow, which is also a positive, great conditions tomorrow. And I'm a little nervous. I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous. There's a lot of people at this race. I've heard some people say 1,200. I've heard some people say 1,500. All I know is it must be so many people uh, because bike reg does not show you who's registered. That's how many people have registered. Yeah, it's gonna be a blast. Gravel race, sectors of pave, which is like a spirit of gravel term for off-road section or section of unmaintained road. Trying to stay hydrated, drink a lot of water. Got a bag full of goodies. Our sponsors, Pepperidge Farm, hook us up with some bread. Bread in that cardboard box back there. And yeah, a bunch of camping gear. It's gonna be fun to set up camp in the rain. I mean that sarcastically a little bit, but it should be fun. It'll be okay. Got some pop-up tents and uh, camping out of our cars. So we got cars as coverage and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna let you go, but I'll be back uh, before I meet up with Adam and Brian, when I meet up with Adam and Brian, I don't know. See ya soon. First things first, you know? <clears throat> Wait, why is this? This has a bike on it. You're here for the run, right? You guys are here for I'm the only run. here for the, the trail run. The, 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 what, it's at that one hill run? It's like 10 minutes long. I think it's a half a mile. I paid $150 just to do that and hang out for the weekend. We're here. I ordered a sandwich. We're waiting for my sandwich. And then we're going to go set up camp. Yeah, just, just let me know. Ski tail road. Road. Yeah, so rumor has it we're gonna take a right out of here and then turn on ski to ski toe. Is that how you say it? Yeah, yeah, ski toe road. Ski toe yeah. road. road. Great. Like sounds like the end of mosquito. Oh, it does sound like, like I think that's why it's so much fun. It's ski toe road. Skeeter. Skeeter road. Skeeter road. Alright, see you there. Brain coming down a little. A little bit of a mad dash to Set up camp. Brian's bike. Oh, it's getting heavier. It's getting heavier. Oh, fuck it. Wow.
finally stopped pouring out. So we're gonna go do a little ride. A little round I stole from uh, Ian Boswell. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Right there. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> this is gonna be insane. Oh my god. Oh, I guess we're going through the water. Going in this direction, so oh. okay, dude. Oh, shit. Trying to get me. Whoa, he's going. quick. All right, go, go. Okay. All right, okay. I love the sound. I'm gonna get I you. know the sound is great. Cool, cool, cool. I think so. We are back. This is our we were posted up here for the weekend. There's the podium I won't be standing on. Because <laughs> let's be real. What are you buying? A bottle. On tap bottle. You want me to write slut on it? Please. Is there 10? Bottle yep. slut. <laughs> Whatever. What are your thoughts on that? Whatever. That was delicious. Right. I would have a bunch more. Oh man. Okay, I might have to use my card. What do you need? You two need bucks. Extra you cash? Got, you got two dollar roonies? They gotta go five. Oh, right. He's off he offered. You don't have to offer because he offered, you know. Two dollars is it? Yeah. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Give me everything Have a wallet. good weekend. Thank, thank you. You too. Well. Sick. One free, pay for one. There seems, you go. Seems right. Two for one. Seems right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get some food over here. A couple of chickens. Get some chickens. It smells amazing. Yeah. Spoonful of uh, apple cobbler. Wow, look at that. And uh, chicken thigh and a leg and some kale salad and some potato. Wow. Is it worth $15? I don't know. But it looks damn good. It does look good. It's yeah. probably a little bit overpriced. But... It's probably really fun. Did you get any free stuff while you're up there to offset the price? Um, I got a specialized koozie. So that's good. That offsets it by a few bucks. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, where's that radio at? It's in the bed. Look, I, Adam's got his little grill he's got going. <clears throat> out in here for a while. Great luck. <laughs> Dude is chefing. What'd you just make? Uh, a fine quinoa black bean burger with a chipotle drizzle. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was great. It was great. Straight from a little the spice or whatever. Mm. Thanks for the koozie specialized. Thanks to our sponsors. Specialized, if you want to sponsor me, please. I mean, you like sorry. It. About how, how did I get yeah, from Puerto Rico to Vermont for a, for a bike race? That uh, United, United, United broke my bike. Did you flew United today? Uh, uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, from United, uh, I mean United broke my uh, broke my bike, so I had to send it to fix. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just like making a joke. That for real? No, no, that does happen for real. Like yeah. on Wednesday, oh. I opened oh, I have, the bag uh, and this I have my was broken. This is replaced. Oh really? And it cost me eighty dollars. You have to uh, do it at a local bike shop or? Uh, look, uh, it, it was Tim. Tim Little City Cycle. He did this miracle. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if I something to do with chain line or something at that maybe. Uh, I mean. The yeah, that's just the cable hitting, right? Yeah, that's the cable hitting. It's close. It's like rubbing in some of them, but I think overall it's like pretty solid. 
it's off on average. Let me give it one click back. Sorry. Actually, do you mind uh, hitting a break on that for me, please? Oh, okay, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is just not a Brian with the headlamp on. Whoa. Gotta have a headlamp. Take my fucking contacts out. Big thunderstorm rolling in. This is camp. My bike's under there. There's Brian's. Adam's over there somewhere. Alright, we are in the tent for the night. It's raining and it's supposed to stop by the morning, so should have a good good weather for tomorrow's race. So see you tomorrow. It's four o'clock in the morning. I'm in Providence. I need to drive to Vermont. So I'm just doing a, a final check over to make sure I have everything. And then I'm out of here. I think I have everything. Got the bike, got some sleeping shit because we're gonna camp out tonight. This is my clothes, snacks. Oh, it's dark. Fuck it. I think I have everything. Let's go. Let's go buy some shitty ass coffee. <sighs> I'm actually very happy. I'm very happy. I'm not happy I have to drive three hours, but whatever. So Brian and John are already up there with a couple other guys. They camped out. They got there pretty early on Friday. And the reason why I'm driving up right now is because I had to work last night. My original plan was to drive up after I got home from working, but it, it would have put me around like 12 o'clock getting there and then sleeping on an air mattress just didn't sound like a good idea. So I slept in my bed last night, I woke up at 4 o'clock and now I'm driving. I still have no coffee because no coffee places are open. This ride is going to be a doozy. I guess the guys did a shakeout ride yesterday. And Brian told me that I need to buckle up. So, whatever that means. I haven't really trained too much on gravel this year either, so it's gonna be super fun. All right, well, hope I can find some coffee soon. sandwich. Makes him look like Taylor Finney. <laughs> 6, 6 a.m. Pepper Farm hooked it up. Raisin cinnamon, pumpkin spice. We had some buns last night. Breakfast bread. Gonna make a peanut butter sandwich. On pumpkin spice. Adam's making eggs, wow. Real fancy. Look at that. And Brian grabbed water, I grabbed my camera. <clears throat> I'm a real citizen. Do you need more water? Only one minute away. It's not looking too crazy. I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. 
I don't, I guess I park here. I mean, it's busy here for sure. Okay. But it's not too bad. It's really not bad. We gotta do it again. Hi. Yeah, that was the first time we fist bumped today. Yeah, never, I just, we just saw each other. What are you eating there? What's that thing called? It's called a banana. Banana. It's like a minions. Wow. Banana. I gotta try one of those. Yeah. Oh, we got the parking guide. Yeah, parking guide is helping you. Thank you, sir. Jeremy decided to join us. something for sure you know what this is egg sandwich <laughs> egg sandwich I found Marcus Good morning what's up brother what's up dude? good welcome thanks I was uh, sleeping here it wasn't fine. bad I'm not listening to anyone ever again how's this for a GoPro angle Brian is this good? Should I just ride like this the whole time? <laughs> Let's test it out. <laughs> the mustache can. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel kind of nervous. How are you guys feeling? A little shaky. Yep. Same. You ready? Too much caffeine or just ready generally nervous? Ready. Just generally nervous. Ready too early. Yeah. What, 45 minutes till start or something? Gonna, uh... Our time is now 9.24, which means we are just a little over half an hour. Just a little over half an hour away from the start of Vermont. Over the <laughs> Who knows? And 58 miles. What do you think? And There's a lot of people here. I don't know what the exact count is. Over 1,400 riders here at Mount of Stutney. Over 1,400 riders. All right, boys. Good luck. Good luck, sir. Good luck. Am I in first? Fucking chaos already. Crashed during the neutral start. Not great.
fucking close one. Just finished the first pave section. It's fucked. Camera won't be out much. Cover bridge though. Twenty-three miles in. A lot of climbing. Probably like three thousand already. So many. Excuse me, guys. Come in there. Excuse me. Oh, well, they want bars. Thank you, sir. You gotta do anything else? Ah, oh, shit. Thanks. Oh, two. You want one? Lucas Friedel, yes, did you just get run over by a car? Uh, I ran them over. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a fucking thing. Laying on my feet, like a cat. Whoa, I must fucking fuck myself there. Wow. Thank you. 
That wasn't too bad. No? Are you okay? <laughs> I was camping so bad the last Me too. Well, camp boys, we made it back. Hell yeah. Back to camp. Holy shit. Look at these dirty legs. Let me tell you. That was no joke. No. That was no joke. It's pretty sweet. Well, that's what you were saying. Something, something had to have happened where... He either attacked the wheels hey. or we thought like maybe it was like a car smile. that came in and spooked him or oh, something. Oh, How'd smile. you make out, man? I did well. Gnarly, nice huh? ride. Yeah. I thought you guys were up there. I've been up there for a while. I saw your ride check in on Strava. What time did we finish? How long ago? Over two hours ago. Yeah. Like, so two hours later, long lines, a lot of people. This is the beer line. That's the food line. Whoever is next, come right on. Alright, I guess let's go back to the food line. Yeah. $150 beer right here. Or the beer. Bad. Inflation and all that, you know? It's corn. It's corn. It's got the juice. It's got the knobs. Brian's mom lives near here. Did you know that? It's got the juice. Right down the road. My mom lives right down the road. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Great recommendation. Wow. Coconut go. Queen. Oh. <laughs> Look at this shit. Jeremy is not far from a cone expert. He's good at a lot of things. Eating ice cream in the heat is not one of them. What is happening? I feel like this shot is going to pair nicely with me eating corn earlier. <laughs> <laughs> He's my bike wash boy. Wash my bike. <laughs> Dirty clean bike. Got a dirty clean bike. What's happening here? That would be interesting. What? Oh, cam. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, you get one. That's great. Eric's giving everyone a hard time. So check this out. All I see is this thing disappearing. No, no, no. He's got this more camo cam. What's that chocolate in no, no, no. Tom has more cam. He's got smart cam. I don't your shirt yet. Oh, yeah. People are going to have smart cam, cam though. No one else has smart cam. Sunday, 7 a.m. We were going to. We had a couple rides planned today, but my legs are tired. So. Holy hell, I'm glad we didn't do a harder ride. Wow. Wow. We're just out here doing stunts. Here's our first stunt, man. Hit the table. Hit the table. He didn't want to do it. <laughs> Wrong bike. Oh. No. We're riding oh. mountain bike trails. This is my shin. How'd that feel? Son of a gun. Jiminy crickets. Yeah, wrong bikes, no bibs. What's up, family? 11%. We're all packing up. Hi. This is John. Hi, I'm John. <laughs> yeah, foggy day. Bike is trashed. 
dude. Oh, Bryant's trashed. That was fun. Doing it again <laughs> next year, for sure. See you in my... See you next. He didn't finish. See you in the next. See you next year. <laughs> okay, here we are, drive home from the Vermont Overland 2022. Yeah, sort of mixed feelings coming home, I guess. At first, before anything else, uh, a, ri a rider tragically passed away after the ride. Um, I don't know exactly how to pronounce his name. Sule, Sul, Sul or Sule. Um, yeah, real unfortunate was, I believe he was riding at the front, towards the front of the race. Very competitive rider, very great rider. Team Amani. They were there, they had a few riders, they were riding with uh, Ian Boswell, former winner of Vermont Overland. So yeah, it does seem a little bit sad to sit and reflect on uh, what was like a really good weekend with this like tragic news that we got this morning, the Sunday afterwards. Yeah, it's absolutely tragic and that is sort of where my mixed feelings come from because uh, I think I mentioned it on the way up. People you like to use this term, the spirit of gravel. Uh, gravel events are generally more chill or more relaxed than road events. Things get a little bit chippy. Neutral start uh, at the race yesterday. You had someone going down in like the first like 0.1 miles on my head unit. It was a great weekend. I had a lot of fun with my friends. I had uh, a great ride. I felt very accomplished with the time that I did and where I finished and all of that stuff. But it's not all positives, I guess. Um, would I do it again? Yes. Did I think I was gonna have this much fun on the ride itself? No, gravel rides intimidate me. I am very intimidated by technical gravel rides. Uh, I don't feel like I have the right bike handling skills. I'm someone that rides my bike on the road a lot, and it is something that I'm just not as comfortable with. I'll tell you, we did a we did a shakeout ride, uh, Adam, Brian, and I, you saw it in the video. I don't know why I'm recapping things that you saw in the video. This doesn't have to be in the edit. So we're going, we went on like the first pave section and it is, um, it was, it was horrifying. Frankly, it was horrifying on uh, the shakeout ride. I sort of expressed this to them that it was, you know, it made me nervous, but it really made me nervous. There was like a three to five minute point in the shakeout ride where I was like, I don't want to do this tomorrow. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go down this with a bunch of other riders. I'm intimidated by people being behind me. I'm intimidated by people being in front of me on trails like that. Um, I don't want anyone to go down. I don't want myself to go down and cause others harm. It, it just stresses me out. That, that, was a, that was a quickly fleeting thought, you know. By the time we were done with the ride, I was feeling a lot better. More people started to show up to the camp. I felt a lot better about it. And in retrospect, I would 100% do this ride again. And, you know, after a while, after a couple of the climbs, maybe in the first climb, that field of 1,000 plus really starts to break up. And you're, you know, you're riding in groups of 10 or 20 at the most. But otherwise, it's, it's pretty chill. Rest stops, there were two rest stops. I had a positive experience at the rest stops. One of them was sponsored by Untapped, uh, which is a very solid brand. But hearing from some other people that we know uh, locally, you know, they got to the rest stops a little bit later than us and their experience was not as positive. They didn't have as much stuff at the rest stops. There were really long lines. It just wasn't managed well. So uh, that's, to me, that's in the negative column. You're paying a lot of money and you're getting like bags of chips instead of uh, like performance-based stuff. It's, it's sponsored by this company and it's a hefty price tag. Right? Like I said, a thousand people. You do the math, right? A thousand people at about 150 bucks and they're selling t-shirts, they're selling hats. There's the hat, I do like the hat. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I guess you gotta weigh the pros with the cons. Yeah, so mostly good. If I had to rate it on one, a one out of 10, I'd give it up. I'm, I'm in between a six and a half and a seven. I'd give it a seven. It was great. It was great, but there are some negatives there in the, in the cons column, if you will. I'm not, I'm not saying that I could do any better, or we could do any better, um, but it's something to think about, I guess. And it's something that I like, you know, personally, I hope to have some It's Just a Hill events that are maybe not as big as Overland, that's a lot of people, but that uh, that we host and people, you know, sign up for and maybe even pay for uh, if we find that necessary. 
but I guess I've been to other events that have left me feeling much more positive on the drive home, and I've been I've left other events that have me feeling much more negative. So it's definitely in the middle. Like I said, it's probably a seven out of ten. I don't know why I'm rating. I'm going to start rating events now if I remember. I might not even remember on the next ride. Um, as I watch the time code tick up on the GoPro, I'm at, I've been rambling for eight minutes and thirty seconds. And um, yeah. So let's talk about Overland. As a whole, this Overland was so much fun for the, I guess I was there for 24 hours. Uh, for the, Those 24 hours were like the most fun I've ever had at an organized event ever. I can't think of another time that I've had so much fun. Just like hanging with friends, um, meeting new people, just seeing new roads. Um, it was just, it was a great time. Yeah, that's what I want from cycling. It's not just about like cycling, it's about like the community around it. Uh, it's about like being with your friends, being on an adventure. I know that this was a race and people treated it like a race and that might have been the biggest downfall to the entire experience was how competitive that this just felt. People were being aggressive for, I wouldn't say no reason, some people like have an expectation of like how they want to ride. They could have done it in a safer way. I had people just like crossing my wheel, passing me on the wrong side, just like not calling their lines. I had people just like jamming up on their brakes without calling it out first. But yeah, sometimes there's just bad eggs and I mean, not sometimes. There's always going to be bad eggs. So I'm not going to let that deter me from ever doing that race again. I'm probably going to sign up for next year as long as everybody else wants to do it. Yeah, I just like, I loved it. I thought it was really cool. That's my experience. Great weekend. Almost home. About an hour away. I can't wait for the next event. I love this shit so much. It just makes me happy. That's it. That's all I have to say. Until next time. Goodbye. Hey everyone, so just got back from uh, Overland. Letting a bunch of my stuff dry out in the front yard over there. The tent and everything is totally soaked. Super foggy this morning. Yeah, I had a great time. It was awesome. Got to hang out with the guys for a couple days. Camping was a blast. Gravel atmosphere is great. It's just everyone's down to hang out and party and just generally have a good time. The race itself was awesome. Ton of people there. Big, big mass start, but the course is great. About 8,000 feet of climbing, just shy of 60 miles. Super hard, feel like you're climbing all the time. Definitely feel like in the race environment, I got myself to a new level of gravel riding that I hadn't been able to push myself to before. Yeah, it feels great. I'm super happy I left it all out there, so I did the best that I could do, and um, all the other guys did super well. If you finish that race, I that's you got to be super proud of that. It's extremely difficult, so kudos to everyone who did that. Yeah, I think I would go back next year for sure. I had a great time, and I think camping is worth doing if you're going, because that's where all the fun happens. You meet some awesome new people. We met a bunch of people from different countries, and... It, you get to kind of bond with everyone when you're there for a couple days. So I would highly recommend doing that and I would recommend doing the race too. Yeah, until next time, see you guys. So I'm hit, sitting here in uh, Vermont by a stream. I figured this would be a good time to kind of talk about the weekend. This was something, you know, we signed up for in January. Here we are almost nine months later because it's the end of the month and the weekend has come and gone you know it was an amazing weekend uh, just to be able to be with you know the it's just a hill crew and to be able to come and make so many friends just the cycling community and the gravel community itself it was really cool we met so many people you know people came over to our tent hung out our buddy brian from puerto rico we helped him build his bike it was really cool to see uh, how welcoming everybody was. The race was was great. I had no expectations uh, for myself other than to race as hard as I physically could and race smart. I was really happy with the outcome of my finish and 
you know, kind of learning about the the aftermath of a rider losing their life kind of put a little bit of a, a cloud over the event. You almost feel bad for having a good time, but at the same time, at least from what I'm reading, it seems like he would have wanted us to, you know, enjoy that day. And yeah, it's just, it's pretty surreal. It's really unfortunate, obviously, for anyone to lose a life. This has been a an amazing trip. I'm sad that it's over. Thank you to the It's Just a Hill crew and everyone for constantly pushing each other to be better and make the cycling community a better place and, and try to get people on bikes and that's what it's all about. This was great. Um, don't really know what to say. I just saw the stream so I thought I'd pull over and talk. Thank you Overland for making such a great event and I'll be back next year for sure. Decaf left, regular right. Decaf left, regular right. It's very challenging work.